Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to show you a specific procedure of changing the power jack of a Dell Latitude series laptop. And uh, the purpose of this video is actually not showing you actually the, the replacement of the jack. It's a, it's a quite easy job to do. But the fact that the, these kind of laptops, these Dell series laptops, the 14 inch, the 13.3 inches laptops, these are really good machines. By all means, I mean, these are really good machines. I, I personally own one of these. But there is a specific flow to these machines, the power jack connector, which breaks very easily. And... Uh, Personally, I've changed dozens of them for my customers. I mean, every time I get a Dell Latitude on my hands with the power issues, 99% the problem is the power jack connector. So I don't know why Dell decided to go from this to this one. I mean, okay, it's smaller, it's prettier, but Look at, look at the connector. It's already bended. So this breaks very easily. So if the user, the, the, the owner of the laptop, doesn't pay attention on, uh, and he uses the laptop on the bed, you know, on his uh, uh, legs, and he mistakenly push the, the jack, it breaks inside. So the laptop loses the connection with the, with the power charger. So, this is a problem that uh, Dell should take care of it. As you, I don't know if you can see, inside there is a plastic ring which is broken and all the pins are exposed. So, anyway, uh, this uh, specific one, the Latitude series, they use uh, the power jack with a cable and with a connector that attaches to the motherboard directly and you have to order this specific part usually I don't order what I have here is replacement connectors which look like this so what you have to do is actually cut the broken connector from the cable and solder it on this new one. So that's what we're gonna do today. So stay with me. First, we are going to open the bottom case. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws here. It's easy task. Just remove the screws and lift the bottom cover. So we can expose the internals of the laptop and see the connector. Also, when you're doing any service on a laptop it's a good idea to remove the battery so there no current present on the motherboard when you're doing jobs you know fixing stuff so pay attention on this let me find a guitar pick i usually use one of these plastic guitar picks to just pry open the plastic of a laptop without scratching the case. It's very easy to do, like this. And you see? Do it on both sides. And the case is removed. So, here is the power jack connector, it's broken, so we have to remove it, and here, as you can see, the cable goes underneath the motherboard, here, 
and connects to this connector. So we have to remove this, lift the motherboard a little bit so we can be able to lift the right, the left hinge of the laptop so we can remove the connector. But first of all, let's remove, let's unplug the battery. So the battery is here. We can pull the connector out of the way so the battery is unplugged. So now we are safe. So let's remove the left hinge. There are two screws here. So we can lift it now. All right. And the connector is exposed here. There is a little black screw here securing the connector on the plastic. So that's the connector. So let's see how we're going to remove this. As you can see, the cable is here. So we need to lift a little bit the motherboard so we can remove it. The motherboard is hold. Probably we need to remove the Wi-Fi card. Unless we can pull the cable from here. Yes. Yes. And I think we don't need to remove it completely. We can just cut the cables here. Let's check that we have the same connector. The connector goes like this. Yes, it's the same on the size. It's a little bit different model. But it's the same. Let's check here. If it fits, yes, perfectly. All right. What about the pins are the same. We're going to measure them with a multimeter to be 100% sure that we connected the plus and the minus on the correct side. All right. Okay. So we can use a little blade rip off the rubber. Let me show you with a microphone what I'm doing here. I don't know if you can see here. Let me focus. Okay. So this is the connector. What we need is to remove this. Probably I'm going to fast forward this part, unless you like watching this kind of stuff. All right. This is out of the way. Let's cut the others also. OK. 
Okay. So this is the red one. Probably this is the plus. We can check if this is the minus or probably this is the middle pin. Yeah, it's a white one. And the other one is a black one, which is the negative. Okay. So let's check this to be sure. Multimeter in beeping mode. So if we go, if we have one probe to a USB port and probe to this one, we hear a beep. So the black one is the minus, the white is the middle one, and the red one, of course, is the plus. So let's see the other connector. Let's see the other connector. Let's be sure that the minus is also the sassy, yes. So this one is the new one. Let me put it here so you can see. A moment. Come on. So on this one. Yeah, that's the minus, probably that's the plus, and that's the middle one. Okay. So let's mark the minus to be sure. So the minus is this one. Let's put a marker here. This is the minus. Let's check also the plus to be sure. I'm going to plug the original Dell. Let me show you in the main scene. I'm going to plug the power supply so I can put it inside the jack and measure the voltages to be sure. the adapter works okay so let's plug it here and let's measure the voltages and you can see the multimeter so the minus is this one and the plus should be this one yes and it is sorry I have a phone call I'll be back in a few seconds Okay, so I'm back. I have uh, attached a clamp holder here so I can hold this plug and desolder the old cables from the... So let me show you with the microscope here what I am doing. So here it is. So we're going to use soldering iron to detach these cables okay, I'm on 350 degrees Celsius I think it's enough for the cable to be removed this one is removed no Actually, it's not comfortable like this, because I'm holding with my left hand the tweezers. Come on. All right. The red one is off. Let me do this one. Okay, the white one is off. Let's do the black one also. Come. So what we have here is actually the three wires. 
the middle one, the black one. So we're going to team them nicely with some fresh solder. Okay, I think you can see them. Let me focus a little bit. Yes. You got a nice view here. Okay. So I'm gonna use my Chester solder. I'm gonna put a little a tiny bit of flux on the wires so that you have a better flow of the solder. Nice. So let's grab the iron and do the job of thinning the wires. Nice. 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 Okay. Beautiful. Okay, now let's grab the new connector and team also these ones. I'm gonna hold it like this. Let me show you under the microscope what I'm doing here. All right, let me focus a little bit so you can see better. I'm gonna tilt it a little bit like this. Okay. All right, now you have a better view. Okay, so let's put a little bit of flux on the end here. 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 Nice. Team this also. Nice. All right. Beautiful. So let's proceed with the soldering. How can I show you right now? Give me a second to find a good way of showing you here. Mm, how can we do? I think it's better without the microscope. Let's switch to the main scene. So you can see what I'm doing here. Let's move the microscope out of the way. Okay. First the black one. Beautiful. Then the white one. Good. And the red one here. More room here. Good. Okay. Let's inspect it. No cables are touching. I'm also going to put a tiny bit of hot glue here to insulate everything. I think we are perfect. Okay. The 
thought he created a mess here. I'm going to remove this excess. Put the screws back. I'm going to put the battery back. Or we can test it without the battery, or we can test it with the battery. Okay, let's test it with the battery. The battery is inside. Great. Let's clean up here a little bit the excess that got away. Good. And this part. Perfect. So let's connect the power connector and test the laptop. Yes, we have a charging light here. Yes, perfect. The battery is charging. Let's turn on the laptop. Yes, the battery and the laptop started booting Windows. Yes, and I don't know if you can see the charging sign of the battery here. And we are good to close the laptop and finish the job. That was the video. Thank you for watching. I think this procedure of changing the power DC connector of a Dell Latitude laptop was clear. This is clearly a defect from Dell and it should uh, fix the problem of this faulty connector that breaks very easily. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.